creating cross section template hello everybody welcome to video tutorial on how to create cross section template e survey section allows you to create cross section templates for road canal railway line nala for all the projects creating a cross section template has to be done in a similar format these are some examples of cross sections created using the cross section templates defined in e survey section a PMGSY road template B railway cross section for new construction C railway cross section for doubling work D national highway template designed using road design module E canal F nala G canal section with soil strata data Highly complex requirements are addressed using various options provided in e survey CAD However to understand template concepts we will create a simple road cross section template we will create a simple road cross section template for pmgsy road click on cross sectional template item in toolbar cross sectional template master screen will pop up click on the triple dotted button next to cross sectional template drop down create a new template by name pmgsy Close Edit Cross Sectional Template Name Window. Select PMGSY from Cross Sectional Template drop down. A typical PMGSY template will have a road width of 3.75 meters carriage way, 1.875 meters shoulder, and 1 is to 1.5 slope line. We will create each one of these items. Click on the New button. Select Slope underscore W option from type drop down and give width as 1.875 and ratio minus 2.5 percentage. Similarly, we will create shoulder line with 1.875 with minus 3 percent camber. While creating toe line, we will select the type as gradient underscore W and provide width as 10 meters. We specify higher value 10 as the toe line normally to stop where it meets the ground. In ratio, we will provide value minus 1.5 which indicates ratio 1 is to 1.5. Now we have defined left side of the road. We will also make provision for toe line in case of cutting section. Note that we have to define the toe line from end of the shoulder point only. While defining slope line for cutting, we have to specify one more factor reference. Reference value we have to specify as below which means consider the slope line that we are defining now in case if the computed point is below ground. Now we have left side definition of road both for cutting and filling section. By clicking on mirror button we can create the definition for right side of the road. If right side properties does not match with left side you can entirely create the right side profile independently as you created left side or you can mirror left side data and change width, length, ratio where required appropriately. Now cross sectional template is ready for applying it on any cross section. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video you will learn to create standard cross section templates.